sitting with me today, I have the res experts. I have Mr. Chris Ross, Mr. Jay Bird, and Dr. Shawnee Pete. Dr. Shawnee Pete is one of our res experts, a member of the Little Pine First Nation. Thank you for being a part of the panel as well. Thanks, Captain. So Chris and Shawnee, uh, you went to Carry the Kettle First Nation powwow, and you asked about the upcoming election coming up for voting. Please tell us about it. It was a great experience. We met with about seven or eight people, and we asked them the question, will you be voting in this year's election? And then we asked people why. It was fantastic. And I thought people were really willing to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and plus, you know, um, we also asked, like, you know, are you going to vote, yes or no? And the major all everybody said yes. So it was really uh, uh, refreshing to see that people want to get involved. That's get right. Involved, so. You know, voting uh, will make a difference uh, in certain ridings. Um, Jay, uh, why are, are you voting first? Yes. So let me ask, why do you feel it's important to vote in the upcoming election? Uh, why is it important to vote? I think every vote counts, and you have the right to vote. You should use it. And I think this time around especially, uh, there seems to be more at stake. Uh, a lot more things have happened over the past eight years. Mm -hmm. uh, people should really consider each party, look at everything that's there, and use their power. And their power is to vote. Mm -hmm, for sure. You know, um, elections, well, parties, you know, set the, um, the economic standards, the social policy standards. Um, Chris, uh, are you mm -hmm. voting? Yes. yes. So why, why is it important to vote uh, from Chris's perspective in the upcoming election? Well, um, ever since I was 18, I was always uh, practiced my democratic right to vote. And I've always encouraged others, whether if I was living with roommates or family members, mm -hmm. just to go out and vote. You know, just even, even if your candidate doesn't have a chance, you know, just go out and vote anyways, because at least you can say that you've uh, participated. And, you know, maybe, you know, and it does make a difference as well, too. So I think it's just very well as important. Just just also to encourage other people uh, to get involved. Important. That one vote does make a difference. Dr. Shawnee and Pete, uh, are you voting in this upcoming election? Absolutely, I'll be voting. So, it's really yeah. important, I think, that we all participate in it. You know, um, I think about my dad, and mm -hmm. when my dad was a police officer in 67, you know, up until that point, he didn't have the right to vote in this country. And so this is a relatively new right that we have, and I think mm -hmm. we better exercise it. That's right. Indigenous people, well, First Nation people, status Indians in Canada, only had that right to vote since 1962, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we're going on second and third generations, right. you know, mm -hmm. voting. I remember growing up, uh, when I turned 18, I did not vote, uh, only because uh, my parents did not vote. And, you know, growing up in a home where you um, don't see something, you don't really act upon it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as I started to become more aware of issues and opportunities and challenges, I do vote today. And I go home and my parents vote today because I encourage them to vote. Um, so how does someone know who to vote for or, you know, what the parties are going to be promising things? They're going to be saying this and saying that, Chris, where do you get your information on party um, definitions and more um, kind of who you not stand with, but more um, believe that's going to run this country right? Well, I, I think social media plays like a really important role in that, you know, and, and I'm on social media all the time. So uh, really whatever candidate is the most um, popular, not popular, but uses that tool a lot more is going to connect with an a voter like myself as well. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I look for. I also look at, um, you know, um, what each party can bring to the table, especially um, not just First Nations. Mm -hmm. I don't just look at that. I also look at it as small business. I, I run a small business, so I sure. also look at those kinds of things mm -hmm. as well. And also for my family, like what kinds of things are going to be offered for those. For sure. Jay, Shawnee, you want to jump in? Um, what, where I would go is I would check out, what I usually do is read a lot of articles. That's okay. the first thing that I do, and, and social media is good for that, whether you're on Twitter or Facebook. There's always some article brought out by somebody on each party mm -hmm. that you can read about, pros and cons, and it's good to weigh all alternatives and to find out exactly what, you, what someone believes and why they believe it, and mm -hmm. what someone else believes and how they counteract with one another gives you a good understanding of all the alternatives. Mm -hmm. So that's usually what I do when it comes to voting. I usually will read everybody's stuff. For sure. um, I know with this election, that, that government has been in there for 
eight years. So they have a mm -hmm. record you can actually take a look at and you can review it. The other candidates are rather new. Mm -hmm. They've been around for a while, but they're newer. Mm -hmm. But you can actually go take a look at their websites and you can review that. Mm -hmm. And for me, I do my homework. So I contact um, the candidates in my area Kay. and I, have question I ask them questions. Mm -hmm. I phone them directly. I go to their offices. If they're having gatherings, I ask to be invited. Okay. So I've sat down with some of the candidates mm -hmm. um, with other uh, constituents and we mm -hmm. sit together and have conversations and I grill them. <laughs> oh boy, do I ever ask them a lot of questions. I ask them where they stand and what do for they sure. believe in and what are the party's opinions about particular issues of concern for Indigenous people. Awesome. So someone sitting there watching this right now, what do they need to vote? Do they have to register? Do they have to go on the website and see if they need ID? Um, what, what is it that they need to be, do right now? Uh, step one is to register, okay. to go online and register, which we'll, I think we're doing a promo on that as well. Good. And then second, you're going to need the correct ID. Good. And uh, that's also been something that we film as well for ResX. That's good. So um, what's some last minute words you can get out there and vote? Um, maybe five seconds each. Give us a little spiel about why why they should be encouraged and excited well, to vote. Well, I think like First Nations youth make up, you know, half of the First Nations population. That's right. So that's like power in numbers right there. So that's yeah. kind of just shows like, let's make a difference of like, For collectively sure. of what we can For sure. Certain ridings could really yes. be shaken up exactly. if everybody exercises that right. Jay? Yeah, this time you can change things. If you get out there and vote, you can actually change the context of Saskatchewan and even of the federal government in Canada. Be the change. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Shawnee. This is a family event. I think aunties and uncles should be getting excited um, and saying to the 18-year-olds and their families, come on, this is a great opportunity. This is a rite of passage, and I want to celebrate it with you. And I think families should be getting together, loading up that van, and heading to the polls. There you go. Load up the Powell van, get to the polls. I'd like to thank the Red Experts for sharing with us. Thank